welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make two really cute crafts using Dollar Tree pizza pans. All right, y'all, let us get started. First off, you are going to need a pizza pan. I'm sorry about the light. You're going to need a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. Now, what we're going to do here is, of course, take this off and have to fight with this glue. Let me see if I can get that off there. I'm going to have to pull this glue off. I got the glue off my, my trusty little <laughs> jewelry making pliers here. But now what we're going to do, because we're going to spray paint this, what we're going to do is you could just take a piece of sandpaper, fine grit sandpaper, a nail buffer, nail file, what have you. I'm just going to use this nail file here because I've worn it down and it doesn't really do a good job on my nails, but it'll be just fine for this. And I'm just going to scuff this up a little bit just to kind of take some of that shine off because if you don't, your paint is really not going to stick all that well, okay? So we're going to buff the entire thing and then we're going to paint it. And I'm going to be painting it. This color is French blue. It is the paint and primer from Rust-Oleum in satin finish. I got this at Walmart. So I'm going to sand it a little bit more and then take it outside and paint it. Now what I have, this bag of wooden letters, and I got this at Dollar Tree. So I have this, and then I have this red acrylic paint here. This bottle of paint came from Walmart. So what are we going to do? Oh, crap. We're going to get our paper towels out that I should have had out a while ago. But anyway, I'm going to spell out the word laundry. Uh-oh, burlap is falling. So we're going to spell out the word laundry. Let me, let me find it. Well, there's our word. So now what we're going to do is we're going to paint it. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. Do yourself a favor. When you're getting these uh, bags of letters or even numbers, for that matter, from Dollar Tree, please do yourself a favor and just grab two bags. Because a while back, I had gotten some of these. And guess what? It was missing a couple letters. And it had duplicates. Okay? It had duplicates of some letters. And I guess it was, it was just a fluke thing. But ever since then... I've always just grabbed two bags just in case. It doesn't hurt to have an extra bag on hand, you know. But anyway, we are going to paint said letters because I didn't have any red spray paint. We're just going to paint these and then let them dry. I accidentally deleted the clip of the video where I was painting the dots on the letters. All I did was use a white paint marker and I just put a bunch of polka dots on it. I have a pack of this nautical rope. This came from Dollar Tree, of course. And all I'm going to do, uh oh, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it around the edge here just to give a little extra something, something. I've got like little fibers and stuff. Listen, 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 listen. So I took this outside to paint it, which was yesterday. And I painted a couple for this video. <laughs> and I go outside, and there's stray cats outside. I go outside, and there's cats. Thank goodness the paint had dried, but there's cats sitting on it. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm like, can you imagine like if the paint had been wet? So like a bunch of cats outside with blue, blue behinds. Yeah, it wouldn't have been good. But I'm just going to glue this rope all the way around. Okay. So we've got this on here and this is where I joined it down here at the bottom. Okay. Now we're going to start gluing on our letters. And I'll tell you what I should have done. I should have glued on the, um, the clothesline. I should have glued that on first before I glue this down. But then again, if you do that, it's going to make a bump in your rope. So you know what? You do it however you want to do it. But we'll put it on here in a... Stop it. We'll put it on here in a minute. Let's get the letters on first so that we know exactly like how far down we need to bring the little clothesline. So like I said, this part down here is joined. So I'm going to try to go straight up with our end. Just straight up here. Let's try to get this centered and I'm just putting blobs of hot glue in the center of our little letter here yeah I've still got that pretty well centered and let's just hold that in place like so and then I'm going to glue the other letters going down this way and like I said that way if we get the letters on first so we know exactly where we want to put our clothesline so let's work on that here is the word laundry. I'm liking this so far. I might put some more dots on this U in the center. I don't know yet. I might do that here in a minute. But like I said, I should have put this on first, but then again, it, it would like make a bump underneath your rope. You put it on first if you want to. But what we're going to do is I want to go like just underneath this Y here. Go, go gadget nails. Just under this Y and then right under the L. 
let's cut this just a little bit longer than what we actually need. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now I'm really going to have to concentrate on this so that I don't get it crooked. I made one of these before and I'm just playing with it. <laughs> My clothesline was so crooked. We can pretend like we're hanging laundry in a tornado or something. I'm just going to get the glue right up in there. Like I said, you know, if you want to put this on first, you know, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Like I said, I'm just going to press this into the glue and let that set up and then stretch it across and glue it over here. Okay. So I have this stretched across, and as you can see, I have a shirt hanging here. Where did I get the clothes? Okay, these are Barbie clothes. Now, you can get these at Walmart, but listen, check your Dollar Tree, because in my Dollar Tree, a lot of times they'll have a few containers of Barbie brand clothes. They also have their own line of clothes, you know, like for the Dollar Tree fashion dolls, as they call it. But those clothes this time around, my store only had like, like evening gown looking things, things that wouldn't be hanging on a daggone clothesline. Okay, so just look and see what all you can find. But I got two outfits here. These pants are a little long. I don't know if I want to hang those on there or not. But I'm going to get these clothes out and I'm going to clip them on here. Now for that, I used these little clothes pins and they blah blah. I was trying to say they and these. These, these come from <laughs> the Dollar Tree. <laughs> ah, all right, let me get these clothes open here and clip them on here. I'm um, gonna put the clothes on now so that we can see like how many flowers and how far up we're gonna put the flowers at the bottom, okay? So let me do that. Okay, so I've got the clothes on there and now we're gonna get some of these flowers. Let's go with these red flowers here. I'm just gonna push the greenery up. See, that makes a difference. All right, because like I said, we wanna make sure that our flowers are not gonna interfere with our clothes, okay? That's why I didn't wanna hang those jeans there. Just gonna snip some of these off right quick. Boink. Let's see. Mm, that's still a little too tall, isn't it? <laughs> our flowers are all up in our clothes. All right. So now I'm just gonna put like blobs of hot. Can y'all see? Uh oh, move it up, Amber. Move it on up. And you stick that down in there. Now, don't don't worry about this down here looking bad because we're going to have some moss that we're going to put down there to kind of cover all that up, kind of like grass, you know. So I have the red flowers and then I have the white flowers. And that's why I kind of did the uh, lettering up there, the red and white to kind of reflect the flowers down here. So um, I'm just going to glue these flowers on and come back after that's done. All right, so this is what I have. And you know what? The sleeve on this jacket is getting on my nerves. I might put a little blob of glue there in a little bit. Maybe just try to fold that over, do something. I don't know. I might not. Y'all know how I am. <laughs> but now I have this bag of moss. And this comes from Dollar Tree. And so, oh, this is the kind that has like the pine cones and whatnot in it. So let's get that. Stop. Now I'm just going to glue some of this moss down here on the bottom and that's just going to cover up all of our little stragglies and everything from our flowers. Just kind of tuck that down in there. Get a little bit more and I'm going to do this all the way across just covering up the bottom of these flowers. Okay. So I've got all the moss glued down. As you can see, a little bit of it, I just brought it down and covered that up at the bottom. And this is it. I think it's really, really super cute. Just something fun to hang on the wall. Now, how are you gonna hang this? With this twine here, the twine that I used for the um, clothesline. I just glued a loop of it to the back like so. And that is that. <laughs> it was really, really fun to make. And I'm super happy with how it came out. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for this one, we are going to be using a pizza pan, of course, once again. And we're going to do the same thing to this one that we did in the previous craft. So you're going to take this label off here. I already took it off and got the glue off. Ha! And then you're going to go back and you are once again going to take your little file here or your sandpaper, what have you. And then we're going to a buff, 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 buff just to take off that shine. Like I said, if you don't, then your paint is really not going to stick all that well, okay? So we're going to do that. 
And then I'm going to paint this one black. This is a satin black, Kenyan black. My store was out of all different colors of spray paint. And there was only like two, two types of black. And this was one of the brands that they had. But I love Rust-Oleum. So I'm going to use it. Satin finish in Kenyan black. So I'm going to finish sanding this one. Take it outside and paint it. I have these laser cut woodwards. These are from Dollar Tree and it says home. <laughs> you get two in a pack. And now I'm going to paint them with this color. This is stone gray. Again, this is a spray paint from Rust-Oleum. You can get this at Walmart. It's my favorite brand of spray paint, I believe. So I'm going to take these outside here in a minute. I'm just going to spray paint one of them, of course. So let's get that out of the way. Now, what do I have here? Craft sticks, craft sticks, big popsicle sticks, as my littles like to call them. But I just have a pack of those. You can get these Walmart, craft stores, Dollar Tree, what have you. And you've seen me construct such things before in previous crafts, but I'm going to make sort of like a little, a little fence, like a little white picket fence. I'm not going to be cutting these. I'm just going to leave this rounded like so. And then what I'm going to do, I had a pencil. I lost my pencil. Oh, for heaven's sake. Nope, here it is. My Christmas pencils that I got on clearance. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, I think, let's cut this end so that it's straight. Just use some heavy-duty scissors. Just try to be careful and cut it as straight as possible. Get that piece out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to, let's put this here. And then let's put a little bit of, I was holding the wrong thing, just a little bit of hot glue. And then we're going to glue this going this way, I think. Yeah, that's enough. And just try to make sure that you get this straight so that it won't be crooked as we work our way across. Okay, like so. So now what I'm going to do, let's just kind of lay these side by side and try to get them even, as even as possible. Now I'm just going to like make a little mark as to where the top of it needs to go for the next one. And I'm probably not making any sense. I'll make sense in a minute. Maybe I'll make sense in a minute. I don't know. But now we're just going to glue this right here beside of it. The next part of our little fence, like so. As I'm trying to keep these as straight as possible. Okay, now I'm just going to glue a few more going over this way. I've worked my way across here, and as you can see on this last one here, I just kind of glued this kind of just barely at the edge so that we can continue on with this piece over here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this other handle because I didn't do it. And just kind of glue that down. That way it allows us to continue on gluing down more. Now I need to get the pan over here because I just brought it in and see how wide we need to make this. Let's see, so I need to keep going a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna glue down a few more of these. Okay, so this is gonna be wide enough. I just held it up to, to the uh, pizza pan and it's wide enough. So we used eight. So two for the back here and then eight across. So now what we're gonna do is let's just go ahead and get two more of these cut the ends of those. They don't have to be perfectly straight because they're going on the back. And now we're just going to drop down a little bit and glue this here. So let's see. I need to trim off a little bit more of this. Put this here. I don't want it too far down. Okay, that looks okay. So now let me get my pencil and I'm just going to mark this as to where I want it to go top and bottom that way I know you know exactly where I want to put my glue okay that's the only reason I'm doing this okay so put glue here here moving across and just kind of try to get it as straight across as possible using my little marks that I made here press that down and now I'm going to cut another one and glue it here Okay, so this is the back. Now let's flip it over. Now here's our pan. Look, remember what I said a while ago about there being kitties outside? I'm going to have to wipe this down. I have some baby wipes over here. I'm going to have to wipe this down. And you can see one of the little paws touched right there. So I need to make sure I cover that up. So let's put this on here and kind of see. That looks okay. So I'm just going to hold this. And just let's flip it over right quick like so now let's take our 
It'll move it over. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just kind of tracing around the edge of this pan. You can see because we're going to cut all this excess off. Okay, don't, don't worry about what's going to go on here. See, I'm just kind of cutting. I'm cutting. I'm not cutting. <laughs> I will be cutting it here in a minute. So we're just going to trim that, okay? Now, you're going to take your scissors. And while you're doing this, please be careful. Just cut along the lines that you just drew very carefully so that when you start to glue it on your pan, all of this is going to go ahead and be nice and trimmed up, okay? But we're going to be, we're, we'll touch it all up here in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Then, this is going to be the front, I believe. So I want to take this heirloom white. You use whatever color you want. You can use bright white if you want to, but the flowers I'm using is kind of a cream color. I'm going to use this heirloom white color, and once I trim this down, I'm going to take it outside and paint it. Okay, I've got a fan on over here because Angie's got hot. Okay, so this is the, listen, listen to me, listen to me. The word that I was going to paint gray, that gray came out darker than what I was expecting it to. And I hate when that happens. And every now and again, you'll run into that. The paint is actually going to be darker or lighter than what it shows on the lid. So it was showing up darker and I didn't like that. So I just went ahead and I painted the word the same color that I painted this. So now we're going to be using some of this moss. I had this brownish color and this greenish color. I don't have a whole lot of the green. So I'm going to set this over here. So I think I'm just going to mix the two just a little bit. I am making a heck of a mess over here. I really am. Now you see how powdery that moss is? If you're going to be using a lot of it, I'm just going to be using a little bit, so I'm not even going to mess with it. You can put this stuff in a bowl and then very, very lightly mist it with some water. Toss it up a little bit and then mist it very lightly again. Don't drench it, you know, but just a little bit. And it really helps to take care of that dust. But anyway, before I do that, let's take a look and see exactly where our little... Okay, right about there. Gotcha. So I'm just going to be putting a little bit of hot glue here and there and just gluing some moss down, okay? Just putting this down here. Gluing down little bits of moss. Like I said, I'm trying to mix this up a little bit. And I really don't care if it's getting messy. I'm going to pick it up and dust it off here in a minute. Just put this on there. Just put a little bit more. So let me go ahead and glue down the moss wherever I want it. I'll clean it up and we'll attach this. Okay, we got the moss. So now listen, once again, I know I mentioned this in a previous video, but I do have another YouTube channel that I started for my oldest little boy. He's 13. He really wants to be a YouTuber. But I'm not one of those that puts their kids out there on video. I don't I don't like that. Um, especially in today's times, people are nuts. So I told him he could have a channel. It's it's faceless. He gives me ideas of like these videos that he wants, and then I make the animations and I set the music to it. And I'm I'm teaching him how to do all that. Okay, so if you would um look down in the description box and I'll also pin a comment with a link to that channel. He would really like it <laughs> if you would please go subscribe to that. He was just thrilled the other day when he got on there and saw how many subscribers he had. He, he was just overjoyed. But anyway, let's see. Now what we're doing here, because this end, this edge, I guess I should say the lip, is not very thick. So I'm just going to put the glue kind of like right here at the bottom, like so. The moss is going to cover it up anyway, okay? So don't really concern yourself with that. But let's just set that down there and press it down. Okay. And I'm just going to press this and hold it in place because, you know, the moss is sticking up a little bit. So I'm just going to hold this in place until that glue has set up. Okay. So you can see I glued a little bit of moss down there. And I'll, like I said, I'll clean it up here in a little bit. But now I got some flowers. This was a huge bundle of flowers, and I got this at Walmart. So what I'm going to do is let's take the tall ones. I think there's several of these in there, actually. Let's see. I'm going to trim that down. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not necessarily going to glue these down if I can get away with it. But I'm just kind of sticking it down in there. 
behind the moss. Try to be very careful because if you put a lot of pressure, you're going to pop this off, okay? Because it's just hot glued on. Now, if you really want to stick this down, you can use some E6000. Keep in mind that stuff does take quite a while to dry and set up. So I'm just using hot glue for mine. And I'm just going to arrange the flowers in there however I see fit. Now for the bigger ones like these and these white ones here, let's see, I think, oh, and I have some of these as well. You know, you could just take it like this and bend it forward a little bit, see? So that it's not all sticking up so that you can actually see the flower. And then we'll just trim this down like so. And then just stick that in there. Like I said, I'm going behind the moss here. Can't really see the top of my little top of my little fence. But anyway, I want to play with these flowers for a little bit and put them in there. And then we just glue the word on top. Okay, so I think I'm happy with the flower placement. You can't really see the top of the little fence with these flowers because they're so large. I don't know what kind of flowers you're going to be using. So if you use kind that like, you know, just all stick straight up, then you'll see the top of the little fence. But anyway, now we're going to take the word here and let's see where I can glue this so that it's, you know, kind of as centered as I can get it. I'm just going to put glue on the back of this and stick it down. Okay, now how do we hang it just like we hung the other one? I just put a little bit of glue there and then made a loop out of twine. And I'm gonna hang it like that. I'm gonna flip it over and I got some glue strings to get off of this, but I think it's pretty cute and I'm very happy with it. So I'm gonna clean up the excess moss, get off the glue strings and that will be that. Uh, anyway, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I'll see y'all later.